cher. C'est bien tout de suite. Ciao. I have ordered tuberose. Tuberose? The same scent. Remember? I remember. Tell me, ciao. Ciao? Have I changed? Not a whit. Merci, mon amour. You're an angel. Uh, by the way, they tell me someone from every court in Europe arrives at the Hague each day. Why? Why? Silly. To see you, of course. They know you will be recalled soon. Those weathercocks tell the wither of the wind's direction better than my most devoted agents, fresh from London. Soon you may marry anyone you please. Soon you may have anything you wish. Anything I wish? Yes, anything. Ooh, it's hot. Uh, listen to me, Charles. Come in, Charles, Sherry. Come in. <laughs> Louis asked me to tell you that that little music box in there is only an advanced token of his friendship. The King of France is a very wise man. Why? He could not have chosen a more persuasive emissary. Mr. Sticks, this is not an official visit. Oh. Well, uh, not really. But he's very, very anxious that France enjoy your favor. Tuberosa. Merci, Charles. You know what? He's sending that ugly daughter of the old Duke de Sully over to London. No. <laughs> yes. Oh. In the event of your majesty's restoration. Most indefinite date, I assure you. Now, I shall go alone as well to attend her. I uh, shall have my... <laughs> Thank you. My own apartment. Sounds mightily convenient, well planned. What's she like? Huh? She's young enough. Oh, she's big. Big feet, big hands. I wish I'd had that music box before. But why? I could have sold it in the marketplace for food. Poor Charles. You always joke. I could have lived like a king with what that must have cost. Really, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, it must be worth uh, mm -hmm. 200 pounds. Uh, Gilders, two, three thousand. Really? Three thousand Gilders. Arbella. Mm -hmm. I'm deeply obliged to you for bringing me that, that toy. Oh, it's nothing. He has no use. It's just very pretty. It's and a thought. It has a use. What was that? I'm being called. You mean you have to... <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, Charles, do not go yet. I haven't heard your plans. I shall be out immediately. Oh, dearest Arbella, I... I have no plan. There's been no truly solid news. And there's still too much in the way. Besides, I'm almost beyond caring. I'm wondrous happy here. You've done me a great service, my dear. Greater than you know. Why shall I see you at the Hague? I do want to see you without Charles. Charles. Thank you. Good health. No heavy business tonight, I Nothing trust. Nothing important but the round head. Excellent. Now this box. They still plague our house. That, this box, I, I want passed two on the way, sir. God's blood, Harry, talk not to me of round head. Now this is important. Now hark close. At the first light, Take this to the market and sell it for no less than 3,000 guilds. 3,000 guilds? And get the money back here to me immediately. But, sir, I need it for a very special reason. The young lady who owns this farm. Oh, Marie. Yes. I must get on to the city. You slept well, I trust. Oh, no. No. I dreamed. Too much, perhaps. Still. It was not unpleasant. Our inn is indebted to you for your custom. Au revoir, Charles. Au revoir, my lady. Allez! Still in front of all those people. Oh. But, uh, when 
would you freely come back? Oh. Perhaps never. But... I... Well, no reasons to go. And... Oh. Many to stay. Mm -hmm. I see. And that will lead you to the Hague. Then, au revoir. Some jewel trifle. Some relic, I think. Oh, really? A friend brought him the money, and later I saw him pay it out to, to a Dutchman. No, I thought him most efficient. And uh, he told me how very much he liked you. Well, it is not my affair. Are we on the right road now? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my child. You have a delightful inn. I shall recommend it. Good day. Allez, thank you. Allez. Oh, thank you. 